Chapter 61 Maze the God Arrives Complete Silence in the Arena You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 61 Maze the God Arrives Complete Silence in the Arena The members of Grand Sea Guild leapt into action. The one with the ID, Hashimoto C, nodded towards a few people and said, You guys, follow me. We'll form a team of five. High dot pressure gun, who was next to him, nodded towards five other people and formed a second team. As for Chin Fong, he remained expressionless. The remaining four people automatically formed a third team with him. Guild Master has said, whoever obtains the first stage dot clearance reward in the Dragon's Lair will get all subsequent resources. Looks like our three teams now have to compete. Hashimoto C smiled as he observed the reactions of his companions, High Dot Pressure Gun and Qin Feng. Without even looking at Hashimoto C, Qin Feng's eyes swept across the periphery. They're fighting. While Qin Feng was wondering, Hashimoto C and the others from Grand Sea Guild looked over simultaneously. What's the situation there? Why is there so much activity? The dungeon is opening soon. We can't dawdle here. Let's hurry and enter it. Some of them were curious. And some were anxious. Just then, a voice was heard. Maze the God. He's here. For a moment. The whole atmosphere turned solemn. Earlier, Whitey had gotten into a scuffle with someone. But now, everyone including him was looking in the direction of the voice. Maze the God. The Guild Master of Hidden Dragon Guild. Many were speaking with frozen expressions. When they saw the name of Maze the God's Guild flashing with golden light above his head, he felt like a high and mighty noble to them. On the other hand, they were merely ordinary players. There was no way they could reach his level. At that moment, they heard a voice filled with disdain. So it's Maze the God who got here by luck. He doesn't look that impressive. As Hashimoto C spoke, he walked forward with his companion, High Dot Pressure Gun, and looked directly at Jiang Bai. Jiang Bai did not even spare them a glance. He continued walking along a side path. On the contrary, Su Mushue behind him paused for a moment. Then quickly ran after Jiang Bai, saying frantically, Wait for me. What? Hashimoto C instantly became enraged. A murderous expression appeared on his face. The arena was completely silent. On one side were the people from Grand Sea Guild. On the other side were just two people from Hidden Dragon Guild, one of which was Maze the God. However, Maze the God did not give face to the members of Grand Sea Guild and had simply walked away. To Hashimoto C and the others, that was a great humiliation. Don't hold me back. I'm going to kill him. Hashimoto C could not control his emotions. As he spoke, he tried to break free while Qin Feng restrained him. Remember Guild Master's order. Let's get the stage dot clearance reward first, then deal with Maze the God. Qin Feng said coldly. When he heard that, Hashimoto C calmed down slightly. However, he retorted back bitterly, I better not run into him in the dungeon. Otherwise, he'll be dead for sure. I noticed just now that he's only at level 15. As he spoke, Hashimoto C's face beamed with confidence. He was already at level 18. Of course, he would not think much of the level 15 maze the god. Subsequently, Qin Feng pointed towards the entrance of the dragon's lair and said, Let's go. Let's enter the dungeon first. After the members of Grand Sea Guild left, the surrounding crowd started chattering again. The people of Hidden Dragon Guild are truly impressive. Whether it's Maze the God or Soft Snow, neither of them think much of the members of Grand Sea Guild. But I heard the Guild Master of Grand Sea Guild represents a superpower in the real world. Its members are not to be taken lightly. Who cares? Let's also enter the dungeon first. Not long later. Everyone scattered like animals and headed towards the dungeon. Whitey, 
who was behind them, followed. Although he was just an ordinary player, who knew, he might be able to obtain some platinum-grade equipment. If so, he would be able to advance quickly based on sheer luck. At that time, the world channel was in an uproar. F asterisk CK. I've entered the Dragon's Lair dungeon, but I've been teleported to a place that looks like an underground city. The structure of this place looks like a giant dragon. How many floors are there? That's what I want to know. I'm a weakling. Can anyone come and help me? I'm trapped in the first floor. I don't know how to get out. I just accepted the dungeon challenge quest. You guys just wait and watch me clear it. Those above, stop daydreaming. The stage dot clearance reward for the first day belongs to me. Dot. People from all over entered the dragon's lair dungeon. Some were afraid. Others accepted the quest early and immediately sprang into action. Jiang Bai formed a team with Su Mushue and entered the dragon's lair. Thereafter, they descended on a flat piece of land. At the side was an old guide. He unfurled a scroll in his hand and said, Respected adventurer, would you like to accept the dragon lair's dungeon challenge quest? Yes. Without hesitation, Jian Bai took the scroll. Dragon's Lair. Dungeon Challenge Quest. Description. In this underground city as huge as a dragon, there are a total of nine floors. Whenever you set foot on any entrance, you may fall two or even three floors. However, the further down you go, the more dangerous the demonic beasts will be. Challenge Quest. Kill the ninth floor dark dragon. The final boss. Reminder. The dragon's lair is a vast dungeon. There are numerous surprises within. All adventurers, please experience it fully. Dungeon time, 24 hours. When the time is up, everyone will be forced to leave. As the interface appeared, Jiang Bai and Su Mushue read the information on the dragon's lair dungeon. The lair had the structure of an underground city. Only by entering the ninth floor could they kill the final boss, Dark Dragon. After viewing the challenge quest panel, Su Mushue was eager to get started. Let's go quickly. It won't be good if someone else gets there first. Su Mushue walked ahead in a hurry as she spoke. But Jiang Bai did not follow behind. Su Mushue turned around with a puzzled expression. She could not wait to leave, but Jiang Bai continued to stay by the old man's side. In the next moment, something surprised Su Mushue even more. Jiang Bai grabbed the old man and immediately flipped him over. Then he repeatedly shook the old man's body, as if he was rummaging through cupboards and boxes. Respected adventurer, I don't have anything that you want. What are you trying to do? Put me down at once. As the old man's anxious voice rang out, Jiang Bai looked at the ground and noticed a token with a flashing green light. He smiled gently and said, Found it. Green light token. Ding. Maze the god has received the dark dragon's hatred. It will be carried out in the dungeon area. Announcing to all players. Chapter 62 Green light token. Black, iron grade. Platinum Grade. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 62. Green Light Token. Black, Iron Grade. Platinum Grade. After Su Mushue heard the announcement, she asked worriedly, What were you doing just now? Why did you bully the NPC? Did you hear that? Now, the Dark Dragon's hatred towards you has increased. On hearing that, Jiang Bai waved his hand flippantly and said, that's nothing. What's most important is this green light token. Jiang Bai immediately squatted down and pushed the old man aside. He picked up the token. Green light token, description. A token from the dragon's lair. A black dot iron grade item. How could this be a black dot iron item? What use could it have? Su Mushue was even more dumbfounded after reading the description of the green light token. Because of that token, 
Jiang Bai had angered the dark dragon. There was simply no need for that. Jiang Bai smiled and replied, this is only an illusion. Next, we have to go to six other places. Let's go. As he spoke, Jiang Bai grabbed Su Mushue and headed towards the north of the underground city. As each floor contained many rooms, they had to shuttle between rooms. Sometimes, they would meet other players by accident. There were also players who stood guard in rooms, waiting for prey to appear. Although it was a dungeon, players who were not strong enough were more interested in hunting adventurers who worked alone. That way, after the 24 hours were over, they would be able to change into better equipment. As Su Mushue passed by some rooms, she saw such people lying in wait in corners. There were even skeletons of prey hanging above, as well as items blocking the way. They were very well dot hidden. But when they saw Maze the God, none of them dared to take action. Was that Maze the God? Thank goodness, thank goodness. I almost charged and attacked him. A young man sighed with relief. He knew very well that if he charged towards and angered Maze the God, he would meet his end. At that point, Jiang Bai did not care about those hunters at all. Instead, he proceeded straight to the next location. The dragon's lair had seven entrances, and all those entrances had an old man. Su Mushue had no idea why they were going to those places. But Jiang Bai knew exactly why. Once he plundered seven green light tokens from the old men, hidden clues would be triggered. By following the clues, he would be able to find treasure hidden within the dragon's lair. In that treasure was a large amount of forging materials. Weapons could start being forged at level 20. Ordinary players had to wait until level 25 before they could take on quests and obtain forging materials. But Jiang Bai was different. Because he knew that the dragon's lair contained a hidden reward like that, he could get his hands on forging materials ahead of time. By the time other people reached level 25 and began to forge weapons, Jiang Bai would have forged them hundreds of times. If I remember correctly, what the dark dragon is guarding on the ninth floor are these forging materials. There's even a large amount of platinum grade forging materials. Platinum grade forging materials are extremely difficult to obtain. By obtaining this green light token, I have definitely angered the dark dragon. But I currently have a buff effect on me. Even the dark dragon won't be able to do anything. While he was thinking, Jian Bai glanced at the familiar encyclopedia. Ikes and Vivian were residing in the encyclopedia. But they could not wait to get out. Master Maze. We want to come out. Jian Bai could even hear Ike's angry shouts. But he could not let Ike's out yet. The Dark Dragon will not submit to the Black Dragon Princess Ike's, bdnbl.m, if they meet, the subsequent battle will cause the entire Dragon's Lair dungeon to collapse. And then, the Platinum Grade Forging Materials will disappear along with it. If so, the cost will outweigh the benefits. Jiang Bai tried to pacify Ikes. Fortunately, within his mind, Jiang Bai could reach out to stroke Ikes who was living in the familiar encyclopedia. With that, Ikes calmed down a little. Next time, I want you to come in too. Sleep with me. Ikes said in a cold but alluring manner. That. Jiang Bai thought about the small space in the familiar encyclopedia. If both of them squeezed into one bed, there might not even be space to do anything. Most importantly, Ikes was very domineering. In such a narrow space, she could definitely make things very difficult for Jiang Bai. Yes or no? Ikes asked frostily. Yes, yes. In that situation, Jiang Bai had no choice but to agree first. But he would never enter such a small space, only to be controlled by the Black Dragon Princess. Just then, Su Mushue pointed to a room in front. She asked, what is this place? Jiang Bai came back to his senses and turned to look. It's the second entrance. Some players take on dungeon challenge quests from here. On hearing that, Su Mushue looked surprised. The Dragon's Lair dungeon had several more entrances. 
Jian Bai did not have time to explain to Su Mushue. He came before the old man. Respected adventurer. Before the old man could speak, he was grabbed and swung upside down. Jiang Bai shook the green light token out of him. Got it. Jiang Bai's eyes lit up as he bent over to pick up the token. Immediately, he pointed in another direction and said, Now, follow me. There are five more places. After a short while, announcements rang continuously in the dungeon area. Ding. Maze the god has enraged the dark dragon. Rage plus 10. Ding. Rage plus 30. Ding. Rage plus 100. Ding. Rage is maximum. The dark dragon has entered a berserk state. Maze the god has obtained a dark mark. Dark mark. Anyone with this mark will be the dark dragon's first target when it is in a berserk state. In other words, anyone with the dark mark is doomed to die. When they heard the announcement, those in the dragon's lair were stunned. When they first heard that Maze the God had received the dark dragon's hatred, they had felt a sense of danger. They thought that Maze the God might have found the passage to enter the ninth floor before them. However, after the string of announcements, they realized that Maze the God had completely enraged the dark dragon. The dark dragon has entered a berserk state. I'm afraid its combat power will now skyrocket. Most importantly, Maze the God now has a dark mark on him. Doesn't that mean he'll be the first to die at the hands of the Dark Dragon? Those from the Grand Sea Guild must be overjoyed. Hashimoto C is already laughing heartily beside me. I've concealed my name so I'm letting you guys know first. High Dot Pressure Gun beside me is also laughing out loud, as if he's gloating over someone else's misfortune. Good thing I've also concealed my name. If I get discovered, I'll be done for. Dot. All kinds of comments appeared in the regional channel. In the meantime, Jiang Bai had collected seven green light tokens. Immediately, the green light tokens merged into one. Then, the interface changed. Green light token, description. These seven tokens were formerly the skeleton of the dark dragon's father. Thereafter, they were forged into tokens by a master blacksmith. Now that they are combined, they are complete and extremely powerful. Hint. It is the only key to the secret passage on the ninth floor. Grade. Platinum Grade. Chapter 63. Dragon Resistance. Boss Spawn Point. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 63. Dragon Resistance Boss Spawn Point Jiang Bai was delighted. With the green light tokens, he could enter the ninth floor, open the secret passage and obtain platinum grade forging materials. In the early stages, forging materials could significantly increase the potential of weapons. After all, mythical grade weapons were not easy to obtain. So forging weapons to increase their potential was another a good way. Jiang Bai put away the green light tokens, then suddenly thought of something. Su Mushue still needs an immunity buff. I can't be the only one with a buff. The way he looked at it, Su Mushue simply did not have the ability to protect herself as an occult witch. Only with an immunity buff would she be safe from the threat of the dark dragon. Especially since he had a dark mark on him. Once the dark dragon saw him, it would immediately strike the first blow. Even those accompanying him would not be spared. Let's first go to the second level to accept a quest. Jiang Bai had thought of a hidden quest. Once the quest was completed, dragon resistance would be obtained. Dot although it was not quite like an immunity buff, it was still invincible. Dragon resistance could help Su Mushue withstand a lot of attacks. Wait for me. Su Mushue chased after him quickly. She was still surprised by everything. At the beginning, Jiang Bai had obtained a black dot iron grade green light token. Then, after accumulating seven green light tokens in quick succession, a miracle occurred. 
the seven green light tokens emitted a faint light and transformed into phantoms. Then, they agglomerated together and turned into platinum grade items. There was more than a one grade difference between black dot iron and platinum. Between them were three grades, bronze, silver, and gold. It had jumped three grades in an instant. Su Mushue was beyond shocked at Jiang Bai's phenomenal foresight. After a short while, she had caught up to Jiang Bai. The two of them entered a room bustling with activity. First floor of underground city, beginner boss spawn point, difficulty. Silver grade, description. Compared to normal wild monsters, killing a beginner boss raises the probability of earning platinum grade equipment by 20%, gold grade equipment by 30% and silver grade equipment by 40%. A panel appeared in front of them, introducing the beginner boss. No wonder they've all gathered here. They're waiting for the beginner boss to respawn. Su Mushue immediately understood. However, as she followed behind Jiang Bai to leave the area, she noticed that some people in front of her looked displeased. Don't push. Can't you see that this place is full of people? If you want to kill the beginner boss, line up. Young man, don't think that you can show off just because you've brought along a beauty. It's best that you stand by the side. Otherwise, we brothers will take it up with you. The three big men seemed to be a group. They turned around to face Jiang Bai, their eyes filled with hostility. Jiang Bai had concealed his name. There was an asterisk where his ID should be. When they saw that, the three big men reacted even more strongly. Good heavens, I didn't even know an ID could be concealed as an asterisk. Looks like it's a type of hidden function I haven't discovered yet. Boss, I have experience with this. Do you want to hear it? A sneaky person like this is likely to be holding good stuff. It's possible that this person obtained good equipment in another room and thereafter concealed his name. If that's the case, we can dispense with niceties. With a wave of his hand, the big man's subordinates immediately walked over with ferocious expressions. They faced Jiang Bai directly, and could not wait to snatch all his equipment. When they saw Su Mushue's seductive figure, anger rose within them. Why couldn't they have that kind of woman? Now. The three of them rushed forward. However, at that moment. Ding. All players, please note that beginner bosses have spawned. There are ten in total. Bloodwing Goshawk. Level. 16, Grade. Gold, Description. The Bloodwing Goshawk specializes in collective action. Its wings are stained with the blood of blacksmiths. It has innate hatred towards blacksmiths. It has a variety of attack methods and is extremely fast. Strength. 200, Stamina. 500, Defense. 300, Agility. 700, Intelligence. 300. Holy SH Asterisk T. A Gold Grade Boss. But why is it level 16? Didn't they say it would be at least level 20? That was referring to the next few floors. The sword and magic announcement explained earlier that most will be level 20, but there will also be a few exceptions. But now, there's going to be 10 Bloodwing Goshawks at once. That's terrifying too. Who said that this is a beginner boss on the first floor of the Dragon's Lair? It's practically a super boss. Oh my god, its agility is 700. Even with all of my attributes combined, I won't be as fast. Are you guys still thinking of getting platinum grade equipment from the Bloodwing Goshawks? It looks like all of you will become the Goshawks prey. Are there any blacksmiths here? You guys are the Goshawks number one prey. Quick, send yourselves to be killed. Buy us some time. Oh no. A Bloodwing Goshawk is flying towards me. F asterisk CK. But none of the previous beginner bosses could fly. Amidst the shock and cries, a man suddenly opened his eyes wide. From what he could see, a bloodwing goshawk was closing in on him. 
its entire shadow cast over him in an instant. As the blood-winged goshawk rapidly spread its feet and prepared to attack, the man closed his eyes in fear and collapsed to the ground, trembling. Boom! Suddenly, there was an unexpected sound. A figure shot out in the sky, and rammed into the blood-winged goshawk that was about to attack him. The next moment, the blood-winged goshawk was plastered onto the ancient city wall. It was the first floor of the dragon's lair, but a crack had formed on the city wall. Gusts of cold air blew in from the outside, causing the surrounding players to shiver. However, it was another scene that made them gasp. Boom! Yet another figure shot out suddenly and smashed into another blood-winged goshawk. Behind the figure was a man frantically waving his hands, shouting, Help! Help! Boom! As the man yelled for help, he crashed into the blood-winged goshawk. Together, they smashed into the wall, turning into an indistinguishable mass of flesh and blood. That scene took away the breaths of the other players. Who did that? He actually threw three people in succession, which smashed three blood-winged goshawks to death. That person's strength is ridiculous. But he helped us to deal with the blood-winged goshawks. He's our brave warrior. For a moment, the players looked all over for the figure of the warrior. Standing in front of Jiang Bai was Ikes, who had just emerged from the familiar encyclopedia. It was all thanks to Ikes that the three men had been sent flying and died such miserable deaths. Ikes flicked her black wings lightly, and then retracted them. Dark aura suffused her body, constantly exuding the supreme nobility of the Black Dragon Princess. Chapter 64 The Black Dragon Has a Master Everyone decides to switch class to Beastmaster. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 64 The Black Dragon Has a Master. Everyone decides to switch class to Beastmaster. Holy sh asterisk t. What kind of monster is this Black Dragon? It actually killed three blood-winged goshawks with a light flap of its black wings. You must understand that the Bloodwing Goshawk is gold grade. Could it be that the Black Dragon's grade is platinum or higher? But how is that possible? This is the first floor of the Dragon's Lair. How could there be a platinum grade boss? The players were speculating about the Black Dragon's grade. However, something unexpected happened. The Black Dragon bowed slightly to a man and walked over, following behind him. The eyes of the players widened as they opened a path for the man. After the man reached an entrance and entered the second floor of the dragon's lair, everyone breathed a sigh of relief. Phew! They took a deep breath and walked off. Sounds of panting echoed throughout the room. Although Jiang Bai had already left, they had not recovered from the shock. That black dragon is that man's pet. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Who could own a pet like that black dragon? Could it be that he has a contract with the black dragon? Oh my god, that black dragon is even good. Looking. I was just thinking about how to become its servant, but now you're telling me that it already has a master. Am I not even allowed to kneel down and lick the feet of the black dragon? D asterisk M in it. I want to become a beast master too. Seeing that makes me so envious. Everyone was in lively discussion. Some made the decision to change their classes to Beastmaster at level 20. However, in reality, it was not as easy as they thought. In Sword and Magic, early dot stage Beastmasters were practically useless. First of all, they did not have any life preservation skills. Secondly, nurturing beasts required a large amount of resources. In Jiang Bai's previous life, even superpowers would only allocate resources to beastmasters in the middle stages. It could not be helped. Even with the huge amount of resources consumed in the early stages, a beastmaster could not be compared to an ordinary close dot range warrior or ordinary knight. Not long after Jiang Bai left, everyone started to worry again. Out of the ten bloodwing goshawks, only three had died. There were still seven who had gradually recovered from shock. 
Faced with the deaths of their companions, the blood-winged goshawks flew into a rage and violently flapped their wings. A strong wind blew. The entire arena was chaotic. The players could hardly stand. They only had the option to retreat at once, or be flung onto the city walls. You useless things, get out of the way. Hashimoto C walked over. There was gold-grade equipment on his fists. With each punch, he smashed the players who flew over to death. He did not look happy. He shook his head at high-dot-pressure gun beside him. As expected, they are truly trash. They can't even beat this kind of gold-grade boss. High-dot-pressure gun smiled. Wherever you go, trash like that always forms the majority. Let's go and look for Maze the God. He may already be heading for the ninth floor. As they spoke, the terrified players instantly became enraged. Are you guys courting death? An assassin suddenly grabbed the sword on his waist. His blade flashed and landed on Hashimoto C. Count me in. His companion followed with extreme anger, having been triggered by the word trash. Five assassins faced off against High Dot Pressure Gun and Hashimoto C. You're just a bunch of assassins who have killed a few rookies. How dare you raise a ruckus before me and try to attack? Even Maze the God does not have the courage to face me head on. Hi. Pressure Gun said with disdain. He held out a shield in his left hand, deflecting all the attacks. The assassins were a bit stunned. They were not considered slow. At least, compared to a defensive class like High Dot Pressure Gun, they should have been much faster. How did their opponent grab his defensive equipment and resist their attacks completely? After being stunned for a moment, they launched another attack. Three of the assassins grabbed two darts from their sleeves. Assassination Technique It was a skill that assassins had to be proficient in. Whoosh! Whoosh! The two darts flew out like formless objects. Because of their immense speed, only their shadows were visible. Those with poor eyesight could only see air. As he faced the assassin's attacks, High Dot Pressure Gun remained calm. One of his hands grabbed a shield, and immediately a protective barrier covered his entire body. Radiant Holy Shield Level 2, Description A holy shield formed by the condensation of light. It can resist the attacks of flying objects. Bang bang bang. The dart smashed into the holy shield and fell to the ground. The assassins were dumbfounded. Is that a full dot body defense skill? With a full dot body defense, unless the attacker had sufficient strength to break through the defense, he would not be able to hurt the opponent at all. He resisted it completely. Let's hurry and escape. The assassins finally reacted. Assassination was the most important aspect of their class. If their opponent had mastered a full dot body defense skill like that, they had to quickly escape. They could neither compete on strength nor defense. They would be doomed if they stayed. Since you've come all the way here, where do you think you're going? Hashimoto C slammed the ground with his feet and leapt into the air. The golden gloves on his hands flickered. Then, a fist intent condensed. Boom. Hashimoto C closed in on the assassins with the fist intent. Very quickly, he killed explosively. What? How is that possible? The assassins had thought that their speed was the best among the various classes. But someone who used his fists had caught up with them. Before they died, the assassins were filled with disbelief. As they collapsed, a few of them noticed the guild logo above the heads of Hashimoto C and High Dot Pressure Gun. The words were not very big, but the assassins' hearts stopped when they saw them. Grand C Guild. We angered the second dot ranked guild in the entire server. They were aware that Grand C Guild was backed by a superpower in the real world, and that it had an abundance of capital. Any member of Grand C Guild had the opportunity to obtain a large amount of resources. As such, it was only natural that the fist that wielding Hashimoto C had speed that surpassed that of the assassins. 
After all, the power of capital was massive. With enough resources, even an ordinary person could fly. As the five assassins fell, the players who had been enraged at being called trash earlier did not dare to say anything. They had no time to escape, and secretly took a few steps back. No one wanted to anger the members of Grand Sea Guild. That would be courting death. As expected. Trash is trash. Hashimoto C. said coldly. Then, he raised his gloves and prepared to send those people back to the resurrection point. Just as Hashimoto C. was bringing down his fists, Chin Fong held him back. You. What are you doing? No one had expected the usually quiet Chin Fong to do that. Spare their lives. The information we need at the moment is the whereabouts of Maze the God. Chapter 65 The Guild Training Ground, to be activated immediately after the end of the dungeon. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 65 The Guild Training Ground, to be activated immediately after the end of the dungeon. Translator Nyo Ida.bo Studio Editor Nyo Ida.bo Studio Hashimoto C was a little surprised by Qin Feng's words, but reacted quickly. All right then, I'll spare the lives of these trash. All of you, come here quickly. Tell us, has Maze the God passed by here? Black Dragon Princess Hashimoto C couldn't have been referring to the black dragon that effortlessly killed the Bloodwing Goshawks just now, could he? But doesn't that mean that the man whom the black dragon followed is Maze the God? Holy CR asterisk P. Maze the God passed by me and I didn't even know. Everyone was shocked. After all, Maze the God's name had spread throughout the server channel. Some of them even regarded Maze the God as their idol, and wanted him to autograph their bodies if they ever met. Oh, that's right. Those people from Grand Sea Guild want Maze the God. This is going to be interesting. Let's follow and have a look. They had witnessed the Black Dragon's invincible strength. And then compared it to Hashimoto C and High Dot Pressure Gun's battle against the Bloodwing Goshawks. Clearly, those two had no idea how powerful the Black Dragon was. It was a good idea to go and see them send themselves to their deaths. Some curious players immediately ran to the second floor. Ding. Server.wide announcement. The guild training ground will be activated after the end of Dragon's Lair Dungeon. Ding. Server.wide announcement. The guild training ground will be activated after the end of Dragon's Lair Dungeon. Ding. Server.wide announcement. The guild training ground will be activated after the end of Dragon's Lair Dungeon. A notification came from the world of Sword and Magic. Training Ground Jiang Bai paused as he was walking on the second floor of the Dragon's Lair. Dot in his previous life, the guild training ground was a place where various large guilds competed in secret as a means to assess their strength. A guild was not just an organization. There were also various incidental functions within a guild. One of them was the guild training ground. Every guild member had one chance to enter the training ground daily, in order to obtain a large amount of level up experience. Simply put, it was a place to collect experience on a daily basis. There were upper, middle and lower floors within the guild training ground. Only guilds with high contribution points could enter the upper floors. The amount of experience obtained from the upper floors was worlds apart from that in the lower floors. Therefore, every guild would secretly compete to increase their contribution points, so as to enter the upper floors when they respawned in the guild training ground. In the battles among guilds, not only were there secret competitions. There were also open competitions. And that was the guild war that was about to be activated. Guilds that were able to enter the upper floors before the guild war began could widen the gap between them and those in the lower floors. Therefore, by the time the guild war took place, there would already be a difference in levels. Guilds of different levels would not be allocated to the same battlefield. Jiang Bai mulled over the things he had recalled from his previous life. First, 
the guild training ground. And then, the guild war. When he stopped, Su Mushue became curious again. What is Jiang Bai going to do this time? It can't be related to the server.wide announcement, can it? As she was thinking, Jiang Bai pointed in front. Hurry up and follow me. If we can accept this hidden quest, our hidden dragon guild will have a huge lead in the guild training ground battle. Chapter 66 Black Dragon Form Princess Ikes You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 66 Black Dragon Form Princess Ikes What? Su Mushue was shocked. Another hidden mission. How did Jiang Bai do it? How did he know yet again? It could not be true. Su Mushue quickly followed, doubtful. Ikes, who had fallen behind, jumped a little with a cold expression on her face. D asterisk MN, that man. Why didn't he call for her as well? The next moment, Jiang Bai's voice came from in front. Ikes, there are a lot of magical beasts coming up. I'll need you to clear the way. Hurry and come over here. When she heard that, Ikes was stunned. Ah! Was she just a tool in his eyes? He made her so mad. On the surface, she looked as icy as a queen. But deep in her heart, Ikes was extremely jealous due to Jiang Bai's differential treatment. In all honesty, one could not blame Jiang Bai. He had never expected Ikes to develop feelings for him. After all, she was a high dot level creature. One who possessed supreme wisdom compared to ordinary divine beasts. Ikes ran up to him without revealing her anger. She was the black dragon princess after all. Why wasn't he trying to console her? She looked at where Jiang Bai was standing, and saw that he was pointing at the magical beasts in front of him. Ikes, I'll leave the front section to you. After hearing that, Ikes flapped her black wings violently, emitting an extremely manic aura. Jiang Bai was a little startled, why is Ikes fighting so hard? They are merely level 20 magical beasts, there's no need. What he did not know was that before Ikes rushed out, her expression had been frosty. Even tools have tempers. Ikes thought angrily as she flapped her black wings, and transformed into the form of a black dragon. Black Dragon Form Level 10, Description The Supreme Black Dragon Bloodline can suppress all low. Level Dragon Races Anyone who sees a black dragon form will bow and kowtow to it due to the powerful pressure. In the air. Ike's black wings spread out fully. Like a queen in the dark night, she transformed into an extremely terrifying giant black dragon. Her eyes were dyed blood red. Pooh. A couple of magical beasts below, who were only at level 12, exploded and died on the spot. The terrifying aura of the black dragon pressed down on their bodies like a mountain, crushing them instantly. As for the level 20 magical beasts, once they saw the black dragon's true appearance, all of them knelt down, not daring to look at Ikes. Although they were not of the dragon race, utter fear filled their hearts. Some of the magical beasts remembered that in the ancient times, one of their ancestors' factions had been annihilated by a black dragon. Another black dragon had destroyed the homeland of their ancestors, as well as most of its people. Now that they were seeing a black dragon again, they could not suppress their fear. Bang! Bang! The magical beasts kowtowed with strong movements. They were afraid that simply lowering their heads would not be sufficient to obtain the forgiveness of the black dragon, so they went one step further. However, at that moment, the black dragon form, Ikes, let out an extremely powerful dragon breath. From her mouth, a scorching aura engulfed the entire area. A level 20 magical beast was gold grade. The bloodwing goshawk on the first floor of the dragon's lair was already a big boss. However, when it came to the second floor, even small monsters were more powerful than the bloodwing goshawk. So one could imagine how the dragon's lair dungeon was not just vast, but also more dangerous the further down you went. Jiang Bai saw Ikes release the dragon breath. 
It was a very powerful move of the Black Dragon faction. Why does it seem like Ike's released that big move because she was angry? Jiang Bai scratched his head, puzzled. However, there was less than five minutes before the end of the hidden mission. He had to rush there as fast as possible. In his previous life, someone had rushed straight to the NPC as soon as he entered the dragon's lair. Even then, he had almost missed accepting the hidden quest. If I remember correctly, that NPC will be mending a wall. In five minutes' time, he will get sucked through the wall by a powerful force from the outside, and then die instantly. Because of that, the hidden quest will disappear. As that thought crossed his mind, Jiang Bai quickened his steps and charged through the corpses of magical beasts. In order for the Hidden Dragon Guild to have a huge lead over the other guilds, that quest had to be accepted. Only then could they enter the upper floors of the training ground. There's also the Dragon Resistance quest. This time, I'll complete it without a hitch. Jiang Bai's gaze was resolute. He shuttled through the castle rooms on the second floor of the dragon's lair. Chen Feng, are we in the wrong place? Hex was confused. The three of them had been walking aimlessly since they entered the dragon's lair. They had not even accepted the dungeon challenge quest. While others were grinding monsters to earn equipment, or waiting for bosses to appear at boss spawn points, they had simply walked around without getting anything. We're not in the wrong place. I just heard someone say that we can accept hidden quests here. Chen Feng's gaze was focused. He was searching all over for something that he wanted. He had obtained a secret message from a good friend he had added previously. Someone had accepted a hidden quest and obtained dragon resistance. Soon after that, that person had been attacked by a magical beast of the dragon race, but was barely hurt. It could be described as the ultimate buff when facing the dark dragon. If he, too, could receive the hidden quest and obtain dragon resistance, he would be able to kill the dark dragon. Then, the stage dot clearance reward would be his. I've already accepted the dungeon challenge quest. Speaking of which, are we really going to face the dark dragon? Joshua ran back, holding the quest scroll given by the old man at the entrance. After accepting the quest and killing the Dark Dragon, he would be able to get the dungeon reward. If he was the first among the others to clear the dungeon, he would also receive the stage dot clearance reward. Of course. Chen Feng's tone was firm. Then, he waved his hand and called two companions over. This time, not only do we have to deal with Maze the God. We also have to earn the stage dot clearance reward. Most importantly, I've got a secret message. It says that we can receive a hidden quest here and obtain dragon resistance. Maze the god now carries a dark mark. We shall attract the dark dragon, and let it attack Maze the god. When the time comes, we'll wait for the opportunity to strike in secret. That's the right way to do this. On hearing that, Hex and Joshua were shocked. A hidden quest. How did you know? Chen Feng smiled calmly. That's what someone from another region told me. Someone in the dragon's lair has triggered a hidden quest and he was right beside the person when it happened. As soon as he said that. Hex was determined, no need to say more. Let's go find that hidden NPC right now. Don't let anyone else beat us to it. Just then, the people from Grand Sea Guild entered the same room. After pushing open the castle door, they saw three people looking around. Don't tell me they also know about the dragon resistance. Hashimoto C's expression was stony. He quietly clenched his fists on both sides of his body, accumulating strength. Chapter 67 Black Spot Disease Save the Dragon Whelp You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 67 Black Spot Disease Save the Dragon Whelp. Just as Grand Sea Guild and Chen Feng's group of three met in the same castle room. Jiang Bai had already left that ancient castle. Ten minutes ago. Jiang Bai stepped into the ancient castle and came across a dragon whelp about to break out of its egg. 
a huge figure stood beside the dragon whelp. It was the mother of the dragon whelp. However, the mother looked worried. A tear could even be seen subconsciously falling from the corner of the mother's eye. Datsu Mushue watched from the side. At first, she was puzzled. Then she quickly grabbed Jiang Bai's hand. The mother of the dragon whelp seems very sad. Is the dragon whelp sick? Jiang Bai smiled gently. He patted his mithril staff and gave Su Mushue a look. Su Mushue looked in front and noticed many spots on the dragon whelp's body. What is this? What's going on? Su Mushue was a little stunned. She then thought of how Jiang Bai had patted the staff earlier. Could it be that he was asking her to go and heal the dragon whelp? While still in a state of confusion, Su Mushue walked forward. She raised the scepter in her hand. Healing spell. As a level 2 skill, it could completely heal some difficult and complicated diseases. Previously at level 1, it could only heal ordinary injuries. As Su Mushue cast healing spell, the radiance from the scepter enveloped the dragon whelp. With nourishment from the light, the spots on the dragon whelp's body gradually dissipated. The mother of the dragon whelp had been heartbroken. Because she realized that her child had the same illness that she had. Therefore, it would die before the age of 50. It would also have to endure severe pain every day. As its mother, she naturally did not want her child to go through the hardships she herself had suffered. But there was nothing she could do. After all, she was just a dragon who did not know any healing spells. However, just as she was feeling despondent, an extremely beautiful woman appeared beside her. The woman held up a staff and scattered light rays, which healed the child's symptoms. Ding! Congratulations Soft Snow on triggering a hidden quest. Name of quest. Save the Dragon Whelp. Description. The dragon whelp suffers from a rare disease called black spot disease. It will go through severe pain every day. Due to the effects of black spot disease, it will not live past 50 years old. This disease is also hereditary. Ding! Congratulations Soft Snow on completing the hidden quest. Ding! The reward for the Save the Dragon Whelp quest has been awarded. Congratulations Soft Snow. You have earned Dragon Resistance. Dragon Resistance. Able to withstand a fatal blow for a short period of time. Able to resist damage from most of the dragon race. Normal attacks will only cause a small amount of damage. Dragon Resistance plus 1000, Dragon Resistance. Su Mushue was surprised. She remembered that on the way there, Jiang Bai had mentioned something about Dragon Resistance. Could that be it? Just then, the mother of the dragon whelp spread out her hands. An aura enveloped Su Mushue's body. Immediately after, Su Mushue's resistance kept increasing. Plus one. Plus two. Plus one hundred. Plus one thousand. As her dragon resistance increased, Su Mushue felt like an invisible barrier had been added to her body. This. This is unbelievable. Su Mushue's small mouth was opened slightly with surprise. Suddenly, the mother of the dragon whelp grabbed her child, bowed her head to express gratitude and flew out of the window, leaving the ancient castle. A strong gust of wind blew all of a sudden. Su Mushue was not standing properly, and fell on Jiang Bai's chest. What a warm feeling. Su Mushue felt a comfortable warmth from the position she was in. However, only after a while did she realize that she was lying on Jiang Bai's body. Su Mushue's face flushed red and she hurriedly took a step back. Let's go, Jiang Bai did not find it weird at all, as he pointed to another room. Now that they had obtained dragon resistance, they had to find another hidden quest. After all, this concerned the guild training ground. After Jiang Bai left, Chen Feng's group of three entered the room. Immediately after, the members of Grand Sea Guild also arrived. However, after a few rounds of searching the castle room, 
they did not find the NPC they were looking for. They found an old woman stooped over a table reading a book. However, no matter what they said, they did not trigger any hidden quests. D asterisk a minute. Did we come to the wrong room? Hashimoto C asked frostily. I'm not sure. I remember it being this room. High dot pressure gun replied. The two of them sat on the table. Behind them was an old woman NPC who had died suddenly. However, their eyes were focused on Chen Feng and his group of three instead. High dot pressure gun, if you hadn't stopped me, I would have started attacking those three. Hashimoto C said as he raised his fists. Just then, Hex, who was in front of them, stopped in his tracks. As a mercenary, his hearing was superior to those of ordinary people. However, Hex only stopped for a moment, then pretended that nothing had happened before walking off towards Chen Feng. Let's go. When he arrived at Chen Feng's side, Hex only spoke those two words before heading towards the exit. Chen Feng was a bit stunned. But Hex had never looked so serious. Something must have happened. With that thought in mind, Chen Feng followed him. After Joshua had emerged too, Chen Feng asked, puzzled, why did you ask us to go? Fear flashed across Hex's face. He pointed to the room and replied, didn't you see? Those three from Grand Sea Guild wanted to kill us. When he heard that, Chen Feng could not help but shake his head. There were quite a number of people in the ancient castle room. Why would the people from Grand Sea Guild specially choose to kill them? My guess is that they also received the secret message and know about the Dragon Resistance. After all, this kind of information cannot be hidden from Grand Sea Guild. It's such a huge force in the real world. They'll only need to spend some money in the real world to hear about it. Hex explained to his companions with a grim expression. On hearing that, Chen Feng felt a chilly sensation. Fortunately, Hex had dragged him out. If the people from Grand Sea Guild knew that they intended to contend for the Dragon Resistance, they would certainly die. Grand Sea Guild has formed teams to enter the Dragon's Lair. There are a total of 15 people, all of whom have guild experience. The three people just now are even more terrifying. It's best that we don't provoke them. Joshua added from the side. At this point. His eyes suddenly lit up as he pointed to a place. Why are the people there suddenly gathering? Let's go and take a look. On the other side, Jiang Bai, Su Mushue, and Ikes entered the third floor of the dragon's lair. The NPC who mended walls had received a quest. He had to go to an ancient castle room to mend a wall. Ordinary players only focused on killing monsters and leveling up. They would not bother about an NPC walking all over the place with a bucket. That was why when the NPC was sucked away by a strong wind outside while mending the wall, no one had noticed. Jiang Bai had heard about it in his previous life, so he knew that the NPC who mended walls would trigger a hidden quest. If they took longer than five minutes, the NPC would die suddenly and the hidden quest would disappear. With a worried heart, Jiang Bai ran at full strength all the way to the NPC who mended walls. Just then, Qin Feng from Grand Sea Guild had a frigid expression on his face. Guild Master just sent a message asking us to go to the third floor of Dragon's Lair. Maze the God has appeared. Chapter 68 Employment Quest Assassination of Maze the God, Platinum Grade Difficulty Level you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 68 Employment Quest Assassination of Maze the God, Platinum Grade Difficulty Level. Chin Feng, Hashimoto C, and the others headed towards the third floor of the Dragon's Lair. They cast each other looks. They had not run into Maze the God along the way, but someone had actually seen him on the third floor. Chin Feng, is the information from Guildmaster true? How about this? Call my father and the rest over. As Hashimoto C spoke, he scanned through his friend list and found the 10. plus guild members. 
Grand Sea Guild had sent fifteen people into the dragon's lair. They had first acted in teams, but soon split up. If they knew the whereabouts of Maze the God, they should gather and work together to kill him. Guildmaster's tone was very firm. As you're aware, Guildmaster is still only at level 10. He is obviously a superpower in the real world. He just has a long dot term plan. So he could not possibly lie to us. Qin Feng replied with a serious expression. After a short while, following Hashimoto C's call, a group of people rushed over from various places. Boss, we've just found a boss respawning location on the second floor. We can farm experience points. Boss, as the three of us passed the first floor, we heard someone talking about Maze the God. It seems that he's already appeared. As a dozen figures came over, they spoke endlessly. Chin Phone listened but did not respond. On the other hand, Hashimoto C and High Dot Pressure Gun told their subordinates about the third floor. What? Maze the God was last seen on the third floor of the dragon's lair. Everyone was surprised to some extent. All right. Our next strategy is very simple. Follow Maze the God all the way. Once he enters the ninth floor, take him down. Hashimoto C spoke. Grand C Guild's plan was very simple. This time, not only were they going to use Maze the God, they also planned to kill him. In other words, whether it was the stage dot clearance reward or the items that Maze the God possessed, they wanted them all. All right. Let's set off now. Everyone nodded with determination. Wait a moment. Chin Fong looked surprised. The guild master had just sent another message. Let me read the message first. Chin Fong opened the chat interface and noticed a message sent by the guild master. Roaming the world. Give up on the second floor hidden quest, and quickly head to the third floor. We will not delay any longer. We shall take down Maze the God immediately. I've hired another group of people to rush over. They should be arriving soon. Go and provide reinforcements. Roaming the world, that had appeared on the interface, was the guild master of Grand Sea Guild. Nobody knew the exact identity of the guild master. Not Chin Fong, High Dot Pressure Gun, or any of the others. Okay. Chin Fong replied with a single word. Chin Fong raised his head and surveyed the doubtful expressions staring at him. Then he quickly changed the direction of his gaze, signaling to everyone to head towards the third floor. High Dot Pressure Gun and Hashimoto C were used to Qin Feng's calm and collected style, so they immediately followed him. But the other guild members all carried some doubt. What did Boss Qin Feng talk to Guild Master about? What did it have to do with Maze the God on the third floor? Concurrently, a piece of news was spreading wildly in the regional channel. Ding. Congratulations Tianyu for releasing an employment quest. Name of quest. Assassination, ding. Congratulations Tianyu for releasing an employment quest. Name of quest. Assassination, ding. Congratulations Tianyu for releasing an employment quest. Name of quest. Assassination, many clicked on the notification to take a look, after seeing the quest released by the player. There were also some who had not realized that players could also release quests in the game. The level of freedom within the world of sword and magic was very high. Not to mention employment quests, they could even release escort quests, theft quests. Every quest had to meet certain conditions. Dot as long as the player could provide sufficient rewards, they could release the quest. The other players needed to pay a certain amount of gold coins to accept the quest. If they completed it, the collateral would be released along with the reward. However, if they failed, it would be confiscated by the game. In other words, players without ability had better not accept the employment quest. Just then, the players who wanted to accept the quest saw the employment quest panel appear. Employment quest. Assassination. Difficulty. Platinum grade. 
Description Grand C Guild will become the top guild in the entire server. We hereby issue an assassination quest for the guild master of the guild currently ranked number 1, Hidden Dragon Guild. If you accomplish the assassination, you will receive the reward. At the same time, this quest is not limited to assassinations. Reward 10,000 gold coins 5x gold grade set equipment 20x silver grade set equipment Conditions for acceptance Collateral of 500 gold coins If you succeed, it will be returned. If you fail, the system will confiscate it. F asterisk CK The reward is 10,000 gold coins. The members of Grand C Guild are too generous. I don't even have 10,000 gold coins on me. But they're actually releasing a quest for 10,000 gold coins. Don't you know? The Guild Master of Grand C Guild has businesses in more than 10 countries in the real world. He has enough capital to collect that many gold coins. If you're this surprised by the gold coins, take a look at the reward of gold grade set equipment that Grand C Guild is giving. No way. Am I mistaken? 5x gold grade set equipment. Since I came out of the novice village, I've only worn black dot iron grade equipment. Yet Grand C Guild already has 5 sets of gold grade set equipment. The power of capital is just too strong. No doubt about it. Whoever has money is the boss. Everyone, can you lend me 500 gold coins? I'll pay you back with interest after I complete the assassination employment quest. Are you guys actually thinking of acting alone to assassinate Maze the God? Look at the quest's grade, Platinum Grade. In other words, the system has raised the difficulty level of assassinating Maze the God to Platinum Grade. Who would have thought that with the appearance of Maze the God, the difficulty level would be Platinum Grade? If other people tried to assassinate me, it would only be black dot iron grade. Amidst the flurry of discussion, an option to work together appeared in the employment quest panel. Employment quest. Assassination, reminder. This quest offers the option of cooperation. You can choose to accept the quest alone, or together with others to share the rewards. Current number of people. 11, 11 people. Doesn't that mean that 11 people have accepted the mission? Count me in. I want to participate too. As the voices rang out. The rest of the people accepted the quest one by one. Ding. Congratulations Colby for accepting the quest. Assassination. 500 gold coins deducted, collateral successful. Ding. Congratulations Sheeran for accepting the quest. Assassination. 500 gold coins deducted, collateral successful. Ding, ding, there was no limit to the number of people who could accept the employment quest. Therefore, many took a gamble with the aim of taking the 10,000 gold coins and other rewards for themselves. After all, the rewards would be divided based on contribution. If they managed to seriously injure Maze the God, they would be able to obtain a large portion of the reward. Not long later. After accepting the employment quest, the place exploded with activity. Maze the God is on the third floor of Dragon's Lair. Let's go. Chapter 69 Platinum Grade Set Equipment The All Powerful Plus 10 Buff. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 69 Platinum Grade Set Equipment the all, powerful plus 10 buff. Just as the players headed to the third floor, Jiang Bai had already found the NPC mending the wall. And just as he remembered, the NPC was holding a tool, continuously poking small holes on the surface. As he had to ensure at the forthcoming wall dot mending task would proceed smoothly, he needed to make some slight adjustments to the wall. Yet, little did the NPC know that a sudden gust of wind would suck him out of position. Buzz. It was a muffled sound. A strong wind brewed and tore into the space. The NPC still had his eyes fixated on the three feet tall wall, poking holes. 
As the wind dashed in violently, it blew away the tools he was holding before he could start repairing the wall. Had he lost his firm stance, the wind might have blown him away too. Careful there. Jiang Bai rushed over and grabbed the NPC by his arm. Thank you, my savior. The NPC was relieved, returning a grateful glance to Jiang Bai after surviving a calamity. Ding. Congratulations, Maze the God. You have triggered a hidden quest. Quest name. Saving a life. Difficulty. Silver. Ding. Congratulations, Maze the God. You have completed a hidden quest. You have received a reward. Congratulations, Maze the God. You have obtained 30 platinum. Grade forging materials. Reminder Platinum. Grade forging materials can be used to forge any platinum. Grade equipment to increase the number of enhancements. A voice rang out. The wall. Mending NPC revealed an appreciative expression. He took out a heap of materials that emitted a faint green glow from his backpack. When Jiang Bai did not reach his hand, the NPC said with excitement, Please accept this, my savior. If it weren't for you saving my life, I would have gone straight to hell. And as he spoke, the NPC forcibly stuffed the materials into Jiang Bai's backpack. It was then Jiang Bai accepted his reward. He had come all the way here for the platinum. Great forging materials. Now that I have the materials to strengthen my weapon, I'll need platinum. Great equipment pieces. Jiang Bai scratched his head. According to his memories, the best way to obtain platinum. Great equipment before level 20 was through the Dragon's Lair dungeon. If he couldn't get any good drops from this dungeon, he would have to wait until level 20 before he could go to the open field to farm by killing more vicious monsters. While Jiang Bai got lost in his thoughts, beside him was Su Mushue, who had her mouth wide open in disbelief. Didn't you only grab his arm? I can't believe he gave you such precious materials. How is this even possible, that with her gaping, Jiang Bai chuckled. It was easy to explain everything. Look, if I don't grab his arm, he'll die, won't he? Let's draw a comparison. Which one's more important? A person's life or platinum. Grade forging materials. Jiang Bai looked straight into Su Mushue's eyes. Immediately, everything made sense. True. If a man died, what's the point of obtaining the reward? Su Mushue exclaimed. After obtaining the platinum. Grade forging materials, Jiang Bai found a hidden place in his backpack to store them. They were precious, after all. If he could forge a complete set plus a plus ten buff, he could do whatever he wanted in his early levels. Moreover, with his weapon strengthened, he would stand a chance of winning a fight with players wearing diamond. Great equipment. At this instance, Su Mushua frowned. Jiang Bai noticed it. He was puzzled. What's wrong with the chick? Why the change in her expression? Just as he was busy with his thoughts, Su Mushue shook her head. These people. They get on my nerves, she said, clenching her fists. Although Jiang Bai didn't get it, he had already discovered why she was agitated. Was there anything on the regional channel? What made her this angry? Being in doubt, Jiang Bai tuned into the regional channel. The words, employment mission, fleeted across the user interface. People were chattering about the employment mission with sensation. I heard the Grand Sea Guild went all out. They emptied 10,000 gold coins from their chest, and with a silver and a gold set of equipment each, they issued an employment mission. Hear me out, guys. Assassinating Maze the God is a platinum. Level employment mission. Let's not take it lightly. It only means that his level is higher than we imagined. Who cares? I can't take the mission anyway. I can't even gather 500 gold coins, after all. Dot. Jiang Bai flipped through the channel history and smiled. He finally understood why Su Mushue was infuriated moments ago. It's fine. It's just a bunch of nincompoops gathered together. 
nothing to be afraid of. Jiang Bai waved his hand at Su Mushue with confidence. No matter who accepted the mission, he was sure most of them would be rookies. Those rookies only took it to test their luck as the reward offered by the Grand Sea Guild was appealing. Once they won it, it was equivalent to receiving a first dot time top dot up gift pack. Unfortunately, the game devs did not open up a channel for top dot ups in the real world. Otherwise, the Grand Sea Guild would have invested more in issuing their employment mission. But more than 300 people have already accepted the quest. It's already one dot tenth of the people who had entered the dungeon. Su Mushue threw him a worried look. In the dragon's lair, thousands of people had entered and triggered the dungeon quest. Yet, more than 300 people in this space had accepted the employment mission. It meant that they had to be on guard at all times. None of the duo knew who had accepted the mission, their hearts greedy for the reward. Not to worry. I'll be fine, Jiang Bai said indifferently. To him, those people only served the purpose of delivering him more equipment. Let's see if we can get the inventory expansion coupon from them. I don't have enough space in my backpack, and these people come just in time. Not only will we send them back to the resurrection point, but all their equipment will also be mine. Jiang Bai smirked coldly as a firm idea formed within his head. Since the Grand Sea Guild's caught in his crosshairs, no one should blame him for what would be coming next. At this instant, Su Mushue's gaze couldn't help but darken. Though Jiang Bai looked determined, she was beyond worried for some reason. There were a total of 300 mercenaries coming after him, after all. Chen Feng, why aren't we accepting the mission? Joshua looked at his companion in puzzlement. He couldn't understand why they were rejecting the player-issued employment mission when all the while they were mercenaries. Facing his doubt, Chen Feng replied indifferently, say, who do you think offers more rewards? The drop from Maze the God or the prize Grand Sea Guild has offered. Of course, we're going after the equipment and item drop from Maze the God. Now let's keep a low profile and stick to the shadows. Chapter 70 47 People Giving Up the Mission The Fearful Maze the God You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 70 47 People Giving Up the Mission The Fearful Maze the God Translator Nyo I.B.O. Studio Editor Nyo I.B.O. Studio Upon the release of the mission, nearly 347 people had accepted it. As for Chen Feng's group of three, they did not take it. Joshua was confused, but after Chen Feng explained everything, he grasped it. If they accepted the mission, there would be no way to keep a low profile. The system would have made a public announcement. And when that happened, the members of the Grand Sea Guild would have found them. It was better to walk in the shadows if that was the case. In their eyes, getting the equipment drops from Maze the God was bringing home the bacon. Not long after, the third floor of the Dragon's Lair became overcrowded. Players could bump into their peers in every room. Did you accept the employment mission too? I see you have the text, assassination, above your head as well. Looks like it were in the same job. Haha. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get into serious business. Has anyone seen the maze the god? Since we've chosen to work together, we have to find out where our target is before we act, isn't that right? The entire third floor of the dragon's lair is too huge. I wonder how many hundreds of rooms are there. Anyway, I haven't caught a glimpse of Maze the God since I was here. Let's keep looking. We can't let others get ahead of us with the reward. As the voices echoed, the players quickened their pace. If all 300 players had to split the 10,000 gold coins and the gold set equipment among one another, there would not be many rewards left on average. Therefore, they were more inclined that no one would be able to locate Maze the God. If that happened, no one split the reward. At this instance, in the room where the crowd gathered, an excited voice came from the exit. My brothers. Word has it that someone met Maze the God at the northmost room. Maybe he's ready to enter the fourth floor. 
Let's catch him up and stop him. After the players discovered Maze the God, they immediately took off. Some dashed wildly, pulling out all kinds of weapons from their waistbands. Axes, staffs, hammers, shields, laser guns. When they had their weapons out, excitement sparked in their eyes. Reading on MYB O oh Snow Velcom please. On the other hand, Joshua held on to his dark staff, walking almost impatiently. He was an exorcist, after all, so he didn't have much stamina. In terms of attributes, his was even lower than Chen Feng, who was three levels behind him. And because of this, he lost all his motivation to walk after a few yards. Let's stop. Joshua couldn't walk anymore. He stood rooted on the spot and ordered coldly. At this second, Chen Feng walked in from a room, showing a confident expression. We have found Maze the God. We can set off now. This time be it the reward, or his head belongs to us. Standing next to him was Hex, who was a little down. Yet, the second he heard these words, his eyes immediately lit up. Dot, let's go. We shall take down Maze the God. Agitation instantly filled the regional channel. After the players sorted out the location of Maze the God, they frantically sent out the coordinates. Ding. Player, Kadok Dragon, is sharing his location, coordinates 25, 49, ding. Player, Casserole Tofu, is sharing his location, coordinates 37, 55, ding. Ding. With the appearance of the multiple coordinates, those who had accepted the mission but hadn't found Maze the God immediately knew where they would head. And while the other players were hurrying as they made their way, a portion of the players stopped to watch. Why don't we go and join in the fun? What a pity. The time for accepting the mission is up. Now we can't do anything. We don't need to. We can watch from the side. There's no harm doing that. I have doubts. The people who are about to head there are the ones who desire to take down Maze the God. If Maze the God gets driven up the wall, will we suffer from his vengeance too? Since we'll be there to join in the fun, let's stand further away. That way, we won't be caught in the crossfire. True that. We'll keep our distance. Some curious players went in the same direction to join in the fun. They were ready. They were there to spectate and must not cause any trouble. And just like that, thousands of players crammed into a room on the third floor like sardines. After Jiang Bai and Su Mushue obtained the platinum dot grade forging materials, they prepared to depart to the fourth floor. In the memories of his previous life, the fourth to the eighth floor were all places where they could gain more experience and equipment drops. However, its best drop would be gold dot grade equipment at most, and platinum dot grade drops were a pipe dream. With platinum dot grade forging materials, Jiang Bai no longer held an interest in gold dot grade equipment. So this time, he was headed straight to the ninth floor. Not to mention, the portal map to each floor was carved deep into his brain. So he could reach each one in the shortest time possible. Perhaps the others still needed to fumble around or even solve riddles and puzzles before they could find the entrance to the next floor, yet there was no need for Jiang Bai to do so. However, when Jiang Bai traveled from where he came from and was about to head to the second room next door, loud clamoring voices came from the outside. The people had crazed expressions on their faces, mumbling things. Hey, you guys. No more fights, okay. Maze the God is mine. Stop bullsh asterisk ting. You don't have the power to take down Maze the God. You better stop digging your own grave. Step back at once. You're talking nonsense. We are all players who have accepted the same mission and arrived together. Since we took courage, there are no grounds to be afraid. I've got a feeling Maze the God will take down your head first. Heh. So, he shall try me. Dot. Not long after, the players broke through the door and looked up in excitement. Yet, their bodies froze as if they had just witnessed a monstrous sighting. Ah. Uh. So this is Maze the God. 
the players trembled as they pointed at the man. They were shocked. In their imagination, Maze the god was slightly stronger than them, but he wasn't terrifying. But this time, their opponent was way out of how they visualized him. Maze the god was standing next to Black Dragon Princess Ikes. An eerie surge of energy hovered around his body. And this same energy on Black Dragon Princess Ikes made their feet rooted to the ground. No one told me we're dealing with the Black Dragon. Those dudes from the Grand Sea Guild. They're shoving us into the sea full of sharks. Hurry up and leave. Don't stay any longer. Wait. What about the 500 gold coins? We handed it out as a deposit. If we give up the mission now, the system will add our deposit to the prize pool. Why do we need that 500 gold coins? My life's worth way much more than that. As voices screamed, people scattered in panic. They were the timidest players within the crowd. They just wanted to try their luck. But the instant they saw Black Dragon Princess Ikes, they realized it was almost impossible to win out of luck. Instead, they would be risking their lives. There were more than 340 people in total before, but now, only 300 were left. Ding! Player Mora has voluntarily given up on the employment mission. The 500 gold coins as collateral have been collected and turned into a reward for clearing the mission. Ding! Player Gale Dragon has voluntarily given up on the employment mission. The 500 gold coins as collateral have been collected and turned into a reward for clearing the mission. Dot. Within a short period, nearly 40 people had aborted the mission. There were still around 300 players in the room, though. Yet, a dark cloud loomed over each player's head.